That's the main reason why I wouldn't date older men. They're grumpy old men, even when they're young. So when they're old, they're super grumpy. Like, I don't know what it is. I have a theory and I'm about to tell you. But <laughs> men will have everything they could possibly want. Anything they need. They have a woman who, like, gives them all this free labor, is gorgeous, does everything for them. And they're still grumpy old men, no matter what age. They are wet blankets. Now, not all of them, obviously, I would not have married one. By the way, look where I am right now. Look at that. Uh, uh. I'm babysitting in the Alps all week. But, you know, not all women I know are like this. But most women that I know are full of energy. Have so much to give. Do so much. They work. They take care of people. They invest in their social lives. They have all of these hobbies and stuff. And then a man enters their life. And all of that joy is just because of his mood. I don't know what it is but it only gets worse with time for most men. If you think they're grumpy in their 30s and 40s, wait till they're 50 and 60 and older when they literally have their whole kingdom laid out in front of them and they're just so mad for no reason. It's exhausting. Men's grumpiness is exhausting and that's another reason why they don't add value to our lives unless they are seriously unpacking all this stuff, dealing with their trauma, investing in their community, investing in their marriage and their children and all of this stuff. These cishet men that take us on are nothing but parasites and they even suck our joy, our good moods. That's why we become so bitter. It's because we're like, man, I do all this stuff and he's just still like, mm, mm. I, I call it the quiet rage, the brooding. And you know, I had some insight recently because one of my friends is dating an Italian man and she went and he's, he, and, and they live here in France. Everything's pretty good. But when she went home and saw him with his family, which is all these women who do nothing but serve him, all of a sudden he was just this moody jerk. So I'm actually convinced that a lot of these men's grumpiness is exacerbated by the because women serve them. They got no reason to be in a bad mood. When you think about like spoiled kids, or just spoiled people in general, they're miserable because the world is handed to them on a platter. So they just are pissed over the dumbest stuff. Whereas if a man knows that she is a pearl and he's lucky to have her and that he has to work to keep her, that nothing is taken for granted. And that just because there's a ring on her finger doesn't mean that she will never walk away. You know, a, a man who's on his toes because he actually values what she brings into his life and the fact that she challenges him to be a better person, to grow, to work on himself, to contribute to his community, his family, because it benefits him too. Men like that, they're not wet blankets. They don't weaponize their moods. They don't control the whole family dynamic by whatever mood they choose to be in. And I honestly think for a lot of them, it's a power trip. They love the fact that their mood dictates everyone's mood that everyone walks on eggshells around them imagine that level of power i mean as a white person i've recognized how much the world revolves around my comfort and if you don't understand what i'm talking about stick around we'll address more of that with time but the world is also revolves around men's comfort and their moods and i almost think that they withhold good moods i don't almost think i do think i think they withhold good moods to keep us on our toes, to keep us hinging everything on them. Cause that's power, baby, that's power. So if you have a moody partner, stop caring. Stop letting them play you with that. Make it abundantly clear that, <laughs> okay, you made a bad mood, but I'm gonna do my thing. And at a certain point, I'm gone. <laughs> because so many of these men have nothing to be mad about. They just do it because they're bored and to keep you on a tether. Don't let them do it. And if they're older men, it's 10 times worse.